Hey, hello, we are live, 11 minutes late. I am very sorry. Um, I'm gonna wait for people to get in before I start. Uh, and the reason I'm late is because uh, I got stuck in, in traffic. And also, while I was stuck in traffic, an ambulance had to get through. And so that was like two layers of me being delayed. But I'm not mad, um, because most likely whoever needed that ambulance is probably in a lot worse shape than me. Uh, and whatever, Whatever bad is happening to them um, is, uh, well, quite frankly, worse than being 11 minutes late. Hey, Thomas. Is it Tom or Thomas? Because uh, I've seen you here a few times. And I don't want to call you the wrong thing. Um, trying to get this going right now. Thomas. Thomas. All right. We got nine folks here. Three thumbs up. Four thumbs up. So that means we got five of you who haven't done a thumbs up yet. <laughs> so the rest of you better, you better placate me <laughs> give me those thumbs hey lisa how you doing uh, okay let's see i'm trying to i'm doing it on my phone this time for those of you who have been here for a few episodes is this quality better than um what's up lauren hey claire is this uh quality better than um yesterday's video yesterday was on my uh macbook pro and i just bought a logitech c 925 um bonafide hustler recommended that to me uh i reached out to him and he's like yeah man you gotta get this it's great he does he's with the green room they do some really cool live show stuff um he gave me that advice uh and said it would really up my video quality so hopefully it looks better and i'm trying to open it up on my computer right now too went crazy did anybody else see it go crazy how crazy are we talking <laughs> um, here we go. Okay, now I'm opening up on my computer. Oh, it looks way better, even from what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, it's gonna look, it's gonna look phenomenal. Uh, when I get my stuff from Prime. Um, okay, so I have it all set up. Uh, I told Twitter and Instagram that we're here. All right, there are there's ten thumbs up now. Maybe it's you. Is it is it? Fine now. We good now? Two thumbs up. All right, let's just uh, let's get into it. Um, this is Lunch Money episode three. Uh, the show at lunch where I help you make money, um, be healthier, happier, wealthier, lovelier, all the stuff. That's the, that's the big thing. Everyone's like on YouTube. You gotta make evergreen content. Focus on health, wealth, love, and happiness. And like honestly. If you're making money and you're happy, um, you know, I, I, I can't imagine anybody who's wealthy and happy but doesn't have a good love life. That just doesn't, doesn't add up to me. Uh, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's somebody who just everyone hates despite him, him or her being, like, successful and, and, and wealthy. But who knows? I am not a love doctor. I'm just a guy with a warehouse full of boxes. Let's get into this. Um, I went to three thrift stores yesterday after work and then this morning before work the lunch money yeah it's you know lunch money lunch it's it's lunch here it's noon i'm in detroit and so um it's uh noon noon 15 est eastern standard time so i guess it's 9 15 if you're in um california or is it six hours to england is it just after work in england i don't know um but i spent 210 dollars the past two days at thrift stores. And this is all stuff I'm just gonna auction off. And if I can't at least make a grand off of this, I am a gosh darn idiot. Uh, Cause it's all really good stuff and I bought it all for really cheap. So um, now that we've got, you know, a couple people here, I'm gonna get into it. Uh, we'll start off with the clothes first. First off right here, uh, I bought this about 10 minutes ago. Well, no, about a half hour ago. It is a vintage Nike pair of basketball shorts. I bought it for $2.50, and they have that Carolina blue, um, which is really, really desirable. And then you can tell they're vintage by the gray tag. Uh, this gray tag right here is going to tell people that it's, um, you know, I don't know what year it is, but it's going to be probably early 2000s, late 90s. Uh, no blemishes, really. You know, no tears. This mesh tears often. Uh, there's no, like, blood on it. It's a white pair of shorts. Um, paid $2.50. I will auction this off, and I expect to get around 10 bucks. Uh, especially because it is almost basketball season. Um, uh, November 15th, I believe, is tryouts for most high schools in Michigan, at least. 
um, and probably around the Midwest. Right here, a Woolrich Men's XL Heavy Flannel. I bought this for $350. All these shirts, this is from Goodwill. These are all for $350. Uh, and then as I get further, everything's below five bucks. I don't pay more than five bucks for clothes. Uh, there's a lot of guys like uh, Vogue Squared, who's the guy who lives near me actually. He will pay premiums for really nice stuff. I don't know enough about like, you know, what, what Tommy Hilfiger streetwear jacket, like TLC wore in, in their videos. Um, oh, clear it won't work. That sucks. Uh, so I just buy it for cheap. Do I charge? I, I do. Yeah. So what I do, um, you know, I'll go over all these questions at the end, just, just, just to make it easy. But there's, if you have questions, ask them. I have it all set up so I can see who's asking what. And at the end of the video, um, I will go through and answer them all. But this one right here, men's XL vintage Woolrich. Uh, actually, I, I don't know if it's vintage, actually. It could be, it could be new, but it's still a really nice, heavy, um, flannel shirt uh you know no signs of wear the sleeves are good that's what i always i always check the sleeves sleeves in the pits that's where like the sneaky little tear tears are and this one just looks to be in impeccable condition a little bit of uh no just really good condition um auction that off and at 250 i, I wouldn't doubt that i get 10 bucks out of it all uh, right here a pink fleece like victoria's secret um, again, it was 250 women's small. Uh, I haven't sold this before, anything like this, this brand before, but I know it's a good brand. Uh, it'll go. Again, I'm going to auction it off. Uh, REI men's large uh, quarter zip. Again, man, this time of year, you know, it's winter. You really, really, really want to be focusing on, uh, on fleeces and jackets. Uh, because it's a it's a, a bonanza online for that. You know, it's a gold rush. I'm just auctioning off stuff the same way I was auctioning off. Um, like I, it's it's a full zip, not a quarter zip. Sorry. The same way I was auctioning off swimsuits and making a bunch of money over the summer. I'm doing the same thing with um with uh with coats and jackets. And also, when you're selling these jackets, these better names like uh, North Face or REI or EMS or whatever, look on the inside and see if it's Polar Tech. Um, or Gore-Tex or Thinsulate because there are people who uh, who um, want that specific specifically. Excuse me. Uh, this is kind of a cool thing. I might not auction this off. This one right here might be a, a buy it now. It's a vintage Nautica, um, like half plaid, half half and half sweater. Uh, it's very big. It's kind of stretched out. There's a little bit of a a little bit of damage back here in the bottom. Um, let me see if I can show you better. I put my finger through it. Uh, a little hole back here. Uh, I didn't see that when I bought it, unfortunately. But again, I paid two fifty for it, so not that bad. Um, you know, Nautica is a, is a big vintage brand. It's got the yellow, the yellow uh, knit or whatever it is, which is better than white because now if there's little stains, they're not really noticeable. Uh, I might put this on, buy it now for like fifteen bucks or nineteen bucks shipped. Um, and just see if I can move it fast because I don't know if it'll auction well just because of the uh, of what it is. Patagonia, Patagucci. That's what uh, somebody I know calls Patagonia. They call it Patagucci. I don't. I didn't realize that it was um so desirable. I never bought it growing up. It was just too expensive. I thought it was just like you know one of those fancy brands that uh was fancy for for no reason. But actually, um, Patagonia has a lifetime warranty. And so it has really, really great resale value. If you can find a pair of Patagonia jeans, you're making a bunch of money. And what I like about Patagonia is you look at the tag here, and it says uh, reuse, re repair, reuse, repurpose, recycle. Um, and if it you get a tear in your shirt or whatever, you can mail it to them, and for a nominal fee, they will uh, they'll, they'll fix it um, or they'll, they'll replace it. They're really good about that. Uh, I, I I've seen these go for an auction around 15 bucks. So hopefully I can get that. And again, I was in that at, at 250. Uh, right here, a REI Co-op XXL 3XL fleece. This will be a buy it now. Um, the 3XLs or, or higher, I don't auction off because there are so few buyers. Uh, however, those buyers they want their stuff. Um, oftentimes, it's difficult to find you know huge plus sizes in most like like a uh, uh, most stores that aren't. Um, like a REI store, so if it's at like a uh, 
a uh, Sierra trading post or whatever, um, you're not gonna find these sizes. And I don't actually know what this co-op means. I know what REI is. Um, I know REI is a, uh, a great brand, I like them. But I don't know what co-op means, so that's something I'm gonna be um, researching. Uh, again though, buy it now, probably at 19 bucks, paid 250. Uh, if it's worth more, obviously I'll, I'll, I'll list it for more, but that's when I have to research. Uh, right here, Patagonia swimming suit. Um, board shorts. Really like these a lot. I wish they fit me. They don't. I'm a 36 waist. These are 32s. Uh, always check the zippers too. You, you, sometimes you'll find money in the zippers. Um, and that's, that's always, that's always fun, right? Yeah. Nice Patagonia board shorts. Uh, I'm probably going to hold on to these until summer. I paid a buck, a buck 75 for them. Um, they were, you know, they were on the rack. They weren't even put on the, uh, on the rack, they were like in a staging area, and I just picked them up the staging area. Uh, those are gonna go for in the summer. I wouldn't doubt if they go for 25 bucks, which is not bad, right? Another jacket. This one is uh, Martin Mountain Hardware Men's Medium. Mountain Hardware is a good brand as well. Another like uh, Patagonia um, North Face type brand. Uh, this is in really good quality. No tears. It's just a windbreaker, so not that heavy, but it's got the uh, the venting, as you can see right here in the sides. People like that. Uh, this could be good for layering, uh, good for like skiing potentially. And again, I was auctioning this off, paid three fifty for it, and if I can get fifteen twenty bucks out of it, that is uh, that's a good day. Bag number two. These are the things I paid less for. These are between uh, I paid between ninety cents and three eighty on all these items including uh, a pair of boots I really want I'm really excited to show you those will go later on but they're really great uh, also quick quick reminder if you haven't yet liked the video um, like it now give me a like for all these awesome windbreakers and Patagonia jackets I got those likes really help me out they help give the channel and the video visibility uh, and they help create a stronger community of people like us who love making money in unconventional ways and don't want to be, um, you know, uh, held down or held back by the idea of a normal job, right? You know, if, if you can make thirty-six thousand dollars a year flipping clothes, or you can make thirty-six grand a year, um, you know, being a paralegal, it's up to you. But I think most people would prefer the freedom um, of, you know, flipping clothes or online arbitrage or importing or whatever it is. Anyways, back to the clothes. This right here, this is what I'm really proud of. I paid, yeah, I paid two eighty for this. A vintage throwback Spurs jersey, fifty. I'm gonna give you guys like ten seconds. You know who this was? Fifty on the Spurs. This is about fifteen years old. David Robinson. David freaking Robinson. And this is in such good condition. I mean, there's not a, there's no. There's no wear at all on the vinyl. There's, there's no wear at all. It's crazy. There's no stains. It's black, so I wouldn't even be able to see the stains if there were. But um, it's such a, such a great find. Um, this is going to be a buy it now, I think. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I bet I could get 20 bucks auction, maybe 30 bucks auction. Um, but if I do a buy it now, David Robinson was such a um, kind of a the kind of guy who kept to himself and a really, you know, cool-headed guy. But he didn't really have, like, a legacy the same way, like, Kobe or, you know, even someone like Kevin Garnett or Paul Pierce did. Uh, and so these David Robinson jerseys are a lot harder to find. And Spurs fans are rabid. They love the Spurs. And so I'm really excited about this. If it was in my size, I would have kept it. Uh, but it's a 40, and I need, like, a 54. Um, so got to sell it. That's more like a men's small, I, I, I would say. Arizona crew neck, you know, throwback. It's uh, not reverse weave, kind of sucks. Those go for more, but still a nice vintage Arizona throwback. Paid uh, two forty for it. You know, I'll list this. I don't know that that's gonna be an auction too. Probably Arizona is a, a very big school. A lot of people like it. It's you know a vintage college wear. Um, I would say twelve bucks probably. What I'll make off that. Another sweater right here. This is a cool champion sweater. It's a, a hoodie zip up. Paid two ten for it. Um, that's the price. You know, all these, all these, just like good name brand, cool things. 
I don't pay more than four or five bucks for them because I don't want to hold on to 10,000 items inventory. You know, I want to move. For me, profit velocity is very, very important. So if I can get a lot of money moving fast, uh, then I'm going to be in a good place. So yeah, Champion, um, you know, cotton hoodie zip up with the green hoodie, or sorry, a gray hoodie. Little dingy, uh, but it's got the logo on it. Again, auctioned it off. I paid hardly anything for it, and I can put it in a, um, a padded mailer and mail it anywhere in the country for 630. And so if I can get 15 bucks out of it, then that means I'm making, what is that? Like seven profit and two into seven, not bad, not bad at all. Right here, this is a tap out hoodie in very good condition. Paid three bucks for it. Um, tap out stuff, it's kind of desirable. It's very heavy, it's a heavy, heavy hoodie. Uh, I don't think it says it's a heavy hoodie, you know, but cotton polyester, um, no, no damage to the logo. Uh, sleeves are in good condition. The pouch is in good condition. There's no, there's no, uh, tears. Zipper works fine. Again, auction this off. It's a, uh, it's a men's large. It's a good size to have. Make some money out of it. Another jersey right here. This is a pretty cool jersey. It's a Joe Dumars reversible Chevy jersey. I have never seen this before. Um... It's, it's, is it, wait a minute. Oh no, it's okay, it's just one. But the way they have it reversible is they sewed it together right here. So I mean, I could, I could just, I could just cut it off and sell this two jerseys. I'm not going to because that's weird and wouldn't be good. Uh, but yeah, it's a, a 50th, oh, 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 I see. It's a Rip Hamilton jersey on one side and then you reverse it and it's a Joe D jersey. All right. If you're new in the video and you like the bad boys, the Pistons, hit that like button uh, for Joe Dumars and how great he was for the Pistons and then how terrible it was for the Pistons. Um, I will never forget the 2004 Detroit Pistons. That was, that was a, a good time to be, to be a young boy in, uh, <laughs> in Michigan. Um, right here, cool Tommy Hilfiger medium jacket. This was originally $19 and I paid uh, $5 for it. This is the most expensive thing I bought. And the reason I bought it is because, um, you know, upon examination, I realized it's two jackets in one. Again, uh, this thing right here, it's a shell with a, um, a vest beneath it. This is a, uh, like a, a, a quilted, uh, a quilted sleeveless Tommy Hilfiger vest. I don't know if I'll sell these separately or uh, if I'll sell them as one. I haven't thought about it yet. Uh, I'll have to look at comps, obviously. If I sell it as one, I'll probably do buy it now. And I would do buy it now at 40 bucks, 35 bucks, uh, just to ensure it sells in the next, you know, next week or so. I might even do 30 bucks. I know I could list it at 70 and maybe sell it in two months, but I am not about that life. LL Bean, medium, regular. Is this a women's? I don't know. I think I don't know. I don't know. It's a. It's like a. It's a thermal underwear. I paid a buck eighty for it. This will go in one of my LL Bean lots. Um, people love this stuff. They love thermals. It's a men's. It's pretty big. Uh, I've got a few of these. A few turtlenecks. Uh, they'll all go together. I'll auction them off and get around eight, twelve dollars per item. If my chair breaks, by the way, which it might break, uh, I'm gonna fall over. In this warehouse, I've had this warehouse for six months, seven months, and I've broken six folding chairs. Six. Uh, I'll show you right now. For those of you who don't know, I'm a, I'm a very big guy. Uh, you see, it's just, it's, just, it's just snapped right here, and then it's, it's just bent. It's just, it's bent right there. That's from my massive body weighing down in this. Uh, I threw shot put at Eastern Michigan University and I am six foot six and I weigh 280 pounds. And so uh, I break a lot of chairs. Um, and this one is on its way. Uh, I'm gonna keep it because, I don't know, I'm lazy. I'm gonna buy a new one. But trust me, it's, it's on its way out. Right here. Shout out to Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk. <laughs> Uh, a Jets, Jets crew neck, real cool. It's a big ass crew neck. It says it's a large, black tag large, so we're looking at mid 90s. But um, this has gotta be, it's got like the tapered, the tapered pits. And so this is gonna fit like an XXL at least. Uh, I gotta measure the sleeves and everything. What's interesting about this is um, 
on the back it says Sutton and now I don't know if that was a player on the team I can't imagine they gave out crewnecks to players and it doesn't say team gear oftentimes the players will have team gear on the tag um, so it could just be a specialized item if it is uh, I'm gonna research how to take off vinyl from uh, from fabric if it's if it is a player though this could be worth a lot of money without the without the um, vinyl on the back I'm saying this could be easily a uh, you know a, a, a crew neck sweater that goes for 60 bucks. That would be um buy it now, not not an auction. Right here, Armani Exchange, a buck sixty. Armani Exchange long sleeve. Uh, the logo is kind of tattered; it's been worn off, but still, it's obviously Armani Exchange. Um, I'll auction this off. You know, we got the AX tag down here too to uh, remove any doubts of inauthenticity. No tears, no blemishes. Sleeves are good. Pits are good. Uh, no, no saggy collar. Those are the big things I look for, really. Um, and it'll, uh, you know, I'll make some money off that one. All right, I just sold an item. Hey, I got a notification on my phone. I just sold a pair of vintage roller skates for twenty-five dollars. I paid two bucks for them. And then I will mail them in a, um, just in a, uh, um, they're, they're, they're small, they're a women's size six. So I'll mail them in a, uh, a padded bubble mailer. So six bucks, sorry, two bucks plus 630 plus minus eBay fees, which is like $3. So we're looking at about doubling my money. Um, you know, 1250 profit, 1250 in fees. We'll just, we'll just make it that way, you know, and then, then that, that takes into account labels and gas and all that good stuff. But still, I sold that in two weeks. Not bad, not bad at all. This is real awesome. I might keep this myself. This is the kind of thing I like. It's an XL, but it's a big XL. And I wanna show you the back. Glacier National Park. This is a hoodie that new cost like 60 bucks. I was just at um, Yosemite. And it's truly amazing how much these cost. And if you follow my channel or if you know me, you know that I have had some great luck selling National Park stuff about Three months ago, four months ago, I picked up a um, National Park, uh, shoot, in North Carolina sign. And I, I, I bought this for a dollar and I sold it for like 600 bucks. Um, people, I love national parks. If you see any national park stuff and it's authentic, always, 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 always buy it. Um, you know, for, for a low price, obviously. This right here, it's an XL, but it's a big XL. It's a cool hoodie. Um, if it was an XL tall, I would for sure keep it, but it's not, so I might try it on, see if I like it. If I don't, I will list it, buy it now, not auction. Buy it now at like $29.95 shipped, uh, and I think it'll sell very, very quickly. Here are the boots I was telling you about. These are some great boots that I'm gonna clean up um, the soles on these are phenomenal. I think they've been worn like three times and just put in storage probably. But they're polo jeans, black men's leather boots with great soles. Look at the bottom of these. I mean, there's no wear at all. Uh, on the top, there's a little bit of wear right here, but I can just polish that up. Um, there's no, no nicks on the inside. Um, they are a size 10, a size 10 medium. Soles are still good. You even got the little Ralph Lauren flag on the side. Comps on these are around 50 bucks. Uh, I think I can easily get that. Bought this little wallet, little uh, Kenneth Cole reaction purse wallet. I don't know if it's for men or women or who is it's for. I paid 80 cents for it. It's like made of like a um, a vinyl or, or sorry, a polyester material. It's very thick. Uh, my brother likes this, so I might just give it to him for his birthday. Um, you know, probably could go for 10 bucks, paid 80 cents for it, and then I can ship it first class mail, or I can give it to him, one of the two. Uh, I paid 20 cents for this. NASCAR, license plate, exterior, whatever. This is definitely vintage, um, not that it matters, but uh, I think I will list this at 20 bucks. It's new. We'll see if I get any bites. I don't know. I might even just auction it off. You know, when I pay so little for it and it's gonna ship for 260 uh, first class mail or 277 or whatever it is. Really, really hard not to make money on things like this. New in box, mini baby cradle. It looks like it's autographed too. Uh, it's never been opened. 
so I I have no clue. I, I guess this woman on, on the box autographed, I don't know who she is. I couldn't figure out who it was. But on Amazon, it's going for 30 bucks, and I paid two bucks for it, and then I had a discount, so I paid a buck 25 for it. Um, easy money. A bop it. I've been buying a lot of these recently. I paid three bucks for it. This one's in very good condition. Uh, does it work? No. Doesn't work. Oh, no, it works. It works, so that's annoying. Um, but again, these sell for 25 bucks all day in this condition. Uh, people love this game. It's, you know, nostalgic. So I'll, I'll Amazon FBA that, make some money. Uh-oh, it's it's going. Son of a bitch. Uh, right here, anything vintage electronics, new in package, you're always, always, always going to want to buy. Uh, a Microsoft Wheel Optical Mouse. This is garbage. This is the kind of stuff that we had, like, in my elementary school. Um, oh, oh, no, it's not new. No. Someone opened it. Dang, I hate that. I hate when they put um, new stuff, or old stuff back in the box. It always tricks me. Still though, uh, if this was new, it would go for like 90 bucks. I know that sounds crazy, but like look up the comps. Used, um, it's still going for 25. Uh, I paid $3 for it about. And with the, with, you know, with the box like this, uh, I'll take it off, I'll wipe it down. I'll FBA it, make my money back in probably two weeks. That bag is empty. This right here, Omron Pocket Pedometer, new electronics. You're thinking, okay, my phone does this. Why would I ever pay money for that? Because, well, I mean, you wouldn't, but someone else would. Paid nine bucks for it with my discount. I paid six dollars. Um, it's gonna go for 90 bucks on Amazon. It'll take probably a month to sell. This right here, uh, a little wooden cross with a uh, with a crucified Jesus Christ on it for a wall. Um, I buy these, I, I paid 80 cents for this. Um, I put them in lots and auction them off. And you can generally get like two or three or, or, or four bucks a unit uh, if they're wood. And then they, they, they ship for them. Um, actually, that's not true. I sold one of these, er, uh, a few of these earlier um, that were, uh, you know, this is low quality, but they were higher quality. And I sold two of them for $45 total. So actually, a lot more than four or five bucks. This one, though, I, I would assume in a lot would um, raise the value by only a few dollars. But still, for eighty cents, why not? Bought a camera for three fifty. Sony CyberShot uh, seven point one megapixel camera, seven point two. People still buy these digital cameras, uh, and Sony especially is a great brand to have. This will go for I didn't even check the comps, um, but around fifty bucks is what I what I am usually used to. Two more bags. All right. I bought some purses. This right here. I don't usually buy purses, but I noticed this on the top. It says, uh, you can't really tell. It says King Ranch, which I recognize from um, trucks. They're, they're, uh, I think they're Ford trucks, like the big Ford 350s uh, have that on there. I paid 280 for it. There's no tears in it. Um, it's got really cool leather stamping, but what I didn't realize is it's monogrammed on the back. And um, KPM, that's gonna remove the value. If it wasn't monogrammed, comps on this are around 60 bucks um, for this, this specific purse or handbag or whatever it is. But with the monogram, I don't know. Um, the odds of finding someone with KPM is there and their initials is pretty low. Uh, I'll probably put it on auction just to get rid of it you know I, I didn't have very much money for it at all so even if i can make 20 bucks off this um that's almost you know a 10x on my money another purse i paid uh 280 for this tommy hill figure purse um leather purse pretty nice no tears in the inside it's got this right here uh it's got a lot of little details that help me uh attempt to authenticate things a little bit of damage on the strap right there not really a big deal um Somebody could replace that if they wanted to. Uh, it's uh, just a nice looking, a nice looking item. Um, I found a, a penny in the pocket, so you know I'm already up a, a penny, I guess. Again, I'll just auction it off. Hopefully, I'll at least uh, you know 3x my money. More clothes. Now this is pretty cool right here. Ohio State. Uh, you know I'm, I'm near an arbor, so I shouldn't have this, but it's an Ohio State um, 2XL long sleeve. 
I don't I don't see a date on it, but it looks a little, you know, I might just say it's vintage on eBay. They're not as picky about that. I'll auction it off, pay two twenty dollars for it. I'll get 10 bucks out of it probably. Um, Calvin Klein jeans, spell out, a little bit of wear, but again, I paid three, or no, I paid $2.03 for this. Uh, it's a men's large knit sweater. I might put that in a lot of other Calvin Klein stuff because it's got the wear on it, but still I'm going to auction it off. Uh, LL Bean sweater, 2XL. Yeah, 480 for this. Uh, it's only an XL, but it's um, a cotton cashmere blend. Uh, and it's uh, right there, you can see. So I'll probably, um, yeah, this will be in a lot as well. A lot of some, some XL LL Bean stuff. People love that. Vintage Ralph Lauren Polo rugby shirt. I have no clue what the comps on this are. It kind of pisses me off. This is the store specifically I went to. They um they staple their price tags on stuff. So you have a little tiny staple holes. You can't tell when you buy it, but I can tell, and it kind of bugs me. Um, just a basic, you know, vintage 90s rugby shirt. Polo Ralph Lauren large. I used to wear these when I was in like fourth grade. I loved them. Not polo, I wore Nautica. But um you know, a good shirt again. It'll be a buy it now, probably. It's not a, a desirable search term. Buy it now at 20 bucks. This is a 100% uh, Shetland wool LL Bean sweater. I paid 360 for this. It's very nice. I like it a lot. If it was an XL tall, I'd keep it. Um, anytime you have like you know lambs wool or Shetland wool, that's always going to be a little bit of a of a, a, a boost to the value. This is a real cool item right here. It's a Nike Team Gear Michigan rugby shirt. Really, really, really solid condition. No marks on the um, on the collar or anything. I paid 480 for it. But what I really like a lot about this is the back. Boom! Look at that big logo. Big logos are always good. You know, on the front we have the Michigan and the yellow swish, but the back. This could be a buy it now too. Um, I'd buy it now at, at 40 bucks and I think it'll go all day. This right here. What was I thinking when I bought this? Oh, on the bias. Just a good brand. Um, you know, it's like a, a crew neck with a center pouch. Auction it off, make 10, 15 bucks. Tommy Hill figure, uh, long sleeve crew neck. Not vintage, but for 260, why not? Uh, this one's pretty cool. This is a um, Nautica jeans vintage. Is it a hoodie? Or is it a... Actually, I don't think it's vintage. I think it's only about five years old. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a, um, a full zip. Nautica jeans. Uh, you know, got the cool marks on it on the side. Got the front patch. Um, I paid $3 for this. It's an XL. It looks good. Let's see, yeah. You know, all, all, all the tags, check out. I always check the tags to make sure that it's, you know, everything uh, holds up. Although this isn't the kind of item you often see um, fabricated or faked. Right here, next one. Saks Fifth, no, Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers uh, cotton v-neck. Yeah, I paid a buck 50 for this. You know, I'll, I'll pay a buck 50 for Brooks Brothers all day, right? Um, yeah, a buck forty. Looks good, no tears. Auction that off. Easily make my money back. 360, Eddie Bauer XL Tall. This is for me. Um, I love, I'm tall. XL Talls are always great. Uh, you know, no no tears. It doesn't have, I don't like the um, elastic wristband, so it's got a loose, a loose wrist. This is gonna be a good item for me. Uh, I'll probably layer it under that cool Cabela's jacket I bought. Last week, last box, bag, last bag. Oof. One more jersey. This is a, uh, I think it's a Tayshawn, no, it's a Ben Wallace jersey. Pistons Ben Wallace jersey. Youth XL, or men's small. Uh, it says it's a medium, but it's not a medium. I'd say it's a men's small. Um, I'll clean this off. Make ten bucks. I paid, I paid hardly anything. Yeah, I paid a buck sixty for it. Right here, 
Here's a cool vintage item. It's a Columbia fleece uh, with like a, a polyester or whatever it's called uh, collar. But on the inside of the collar is this cool Aztec, or not as or sorry, Southwestern design that um, people love. Um, I'm always selling that like Southwestern design stuff, whether it's jewelry um, or whether it's, um, what the hell's in the pocket? Oh, a cough drop. Great. Throwing that away. Um, this will be auctioned off. It's a, uh, what size is it? I don't see a size tag, but I'd say it's an XL. I'll measure it up. Looks like an XL to me. It's pretty big. Um, this is a real cool vintage crew neck sweater, sweatshirt I got. It's a men's large, but it's in just phenomenal condition. Look at that. That's a Planet Hollywood in um, Phoenix. Yeah, in Phoenix, Arizona. With that real cool, like, um, you know, new agey uh, Egyptian bird type deal. Comps on that are all over the place. I'll put it at 30 bucks and we shall see if it moves. Uh, Columbia um, hoodie. You know, I paid 240 for this. It's a uh, 2XL. No, it's, a, it's a, a large, but it's a very big large. This is, um, a, you know, a baggy, baggy item. It's got a, a pocket. It's got the cool thing about this is in addition to your center pouch, you've got a pocket right here. And little details like that are what change your items from, you know, getting one bid to getting 15 bids. Um, always, always, always focus on the cool, unique details. Vintage polo, long sleeve, uh, long sleeve collared shirt, men's small or a youth extra large. It's a men's medium, but it's, it's been shrunk down. It's pretty, it's pretty tiny. Right here, this is like the holy grail of, of collared shirts. Not the holy grail. It's a cool one though. It's a uh, Masters. If you ever see this little logo on a collared shirt, buy it. Um, Augusta National uh, official gear. This one's a, a throwback, or sorry, a, a vintage model. And I know it's vintage because it says Slazinger. And Slazinger, um, they would like co-produce Augusta's... Um, uh, so the Masters is a golf tournament that occurs uh, every summer in the PGA Tour, and it's in uh, it's in Georgia somewhere, and um, they have this little yellow America with the red flag in in southern Georgia, and the short sleeve shirts that happen uh, that are newer go for around thirty bucks, but this is a long sleeve vintage one, and so I couldn't find the comps on this, but I'm gonna put it um, probably at fifty five dollars shipped because I like it, I think it's cool, it's unique, um, and that really just adds up to a, to a good a good sale. Bought a few pairs of pants. This was two bucks for a pair of Eddie Bauer corduroy pants. They're um, 38, 30s, so not like a, a, a extremely desirable um, size, but still good. Uh, very, very good, you know, good tag on the back, good condition, no tears, no blemishes. I'll auction these off. I probably shouldn't. I probably should just. What I'll do is I'll auction them off at like nine ninety nine, and see if I can get up for like fifteen. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, no, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do five bucks plus shipping. That's what I'll do, and hopefully I can you know make a make a two x my money. This one. This cost twenty cents. I paid twenty cents for this shirt. It's an Eddie Bauer XL. Um, I might even just bundle a few Eddie Bauer items together because Eddie Bauer has a lot of uh, loyal, loyal customers who love the brand. Oh no, shoot, I just saw this, a little stain. Nike sweatpants, damn, I didn't even realize that. These are some real cool like vintage Nike sweatpants made in Taiwan with the gray tag. Um, damn, well, these are gonna be optioned off. I was gonna say, I bet I could get, you know, Oh no, and even the bottom, oh, I really messed up on these. Someone even cut the bottom with a pair of scissors. Ugh, these are just trash, I think. I'll auction them off. I'll probably just lose money on those. Dang, um, right here, L.L. Bean, two pairs, I believe. Yeah, two pairs of L.L. Bean jeans, 4830 and these, or sorry, 4030, and these are 4030 as well. So two pairs of the same size, L.L. Bean jeans, I would assume donated by the same person. Uh, one's a bit darker wash than the first. These go for $25 to $35 for an individual pair. 
I would assume that this set would go for 50 bucks and I'll just roll them up and put them in a bubble mailer. Mm, wouldn't fit actually. So I'll have to do like a flat rate box, but still, uh, it'll be it'll be good. And the reason people like LL Bean is because they have um, that lifetime warranty. Oh, the Robson jersey? Okay, yeah, shoot, no. I Again, I'll get to your questions at, at the end of all the clothes. Um, we'll have 15 minutes for questions and then uh, I'll get out of your day. Again, thanks for watching, those of you who stuck around. Uh, if you're here, if you've been here the whole time and you haven't yet hit the like button, I really encourage you to do that. It's, uh, it's very helpful to me and it looks cool. More pants, Cabela's pants, big Cabela's pants. These are like, wow, only 38s? They seem a lot bigger than 38s. But Cabela's is one of those brands with very loyal customers, it's like hunting gear. Um, I've sold Cabela's pants like this outdoors, like heavy duty pants for 40 bucks. These aren't as heavy duty. I would assume they'll go for 25. Um, I might just do, I might do a bite now. I don't like to auction off pants as much unless they're a really, really desirable brand because there's such a variance in sizing. Uh, but if it's like, you know, LL Bean or Patagonia, why not? One last thing, Williams Bay vintage denim button down shirt. Not a huge name brand, but anything vintage denim, people are going to pay for. Um, this might go on my Etsy account. I don't, I don't know how I'll sell it. I got to do a little bit more research about this company, figure out if I can see when it was made. Um, Williams Bay Trading Company. If I'm an idiot and it's like a great brand, uh, you know, don't don't yell at me. The sleeves are in good condition. Uh, no tears in the sleeves. No tears in the bottom. No tears in the pits. It's just a real, you know, just a good, a good denim shirt. There's a little bit of wear on the back collar right here. It looks like it was re-sewn. Uh, but you know what? People like that. That just adds to the authenticity. And um, that's it. That is all for today. I will open up the next 15 minutes for questions. So if you're still here and you have questions, we'll go over them right now. Let's see. Okay, from the very top. Hey, 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 hey. Marcel Perpetuo asks, do you charge shipping when you post clothes? On auctions I do, yes. So there's two, there's two kinds of buyers. Buyers who look for good deals and buyers who look for fast deals, right? Like your Amazon, time prime, uh, Amazon Prime type. Um, if I do buy it now, I do free shipping. If I do auctions, I do uh, shipping added. And I do that because when you include uh, a shipping cost and you say in your listing, I'll combine shipping, you're encouraging uh, potential buyers to check out your other auctions and bid those up because they have kind of a de facto discount if they buy more than one item. Hey there, RS Guide Source asks, regarding to the VCRs, how long is your average hold time on those? It depends. Um, for Sony's and Panasonic's and Philips, it's probably two or three weeks if they're, um, you know, hi-fi, forehead, uh, VCRs. If they're not on Amazon Prime, if it's like a Magnavox or like a Mitsubishi that doesn't have a, a existing listing and I got to do it on eBay, I would say I put them at like 25 bucks just, just to get rid of them. Um, and I'll hold on to it for, you know, two months sometimes, between a month and three months. Uh, leisure reseller got it right. Yeah, you, you know who Dave Robinson is. A little cool story about Dave Robinson. When he, he went to the Army, and I believe he deferred. To, he got drafted and deferred for a year. But with his first paycheck from, from the Spurs, first thing he bought was a giant uh, grand piano because the guy was a, a, a classically educated man. Real, really a, a, a class act from everything I've read about him. Um... Buy now, 50 bucks for the Robinson jersey. Yeah, probably that's what I'll do. Probably, Brian Stout says, "Holy shit, you're huge! I am a big, a, a big person." Lauren, Lauren is a guy I know who's uh, doing some real cool stuff. Um, what's your Instagram, Lauren? I'm, I'm gonna shout you out real quick because I think everybody who is intrigued by this stuff should follow Lauren Wilcock. He's in. Are you in Colorado? For some reason, I think you're in Colorado. I don't know why. Um, and he asks. Do you have to buy a wholesale lot to get an invoice to get ungated for CDs on Amazon, or can I get my account, get some age, and I'll get auto ungated? CDs uh, recently changed. So if 
you were selling CDs um, before July. Uh, it's at Lauren Wilcock um, on Instagram. It's from Maryland. That was way off. Yeah. L O R E N W I L L C O C K. He's doing some cool stuff on Instagram. Um, he's, a, he's a flipper. He sells a lot of books. Uh, if you want to see someone progressing into a good seller, I recommend following him. And his question was about ungating CDs. If you were selling CDs before July 2017, it's pretty much a free for all. Um, pretty much every brand was ungated. And then after that, uh, all the big brands began to get gated. And they don't, there's no application process currently for it, which kind of sucks. Um, Amazon's figuring out, like, okay, what are we going to do here? Um, how are we going to sell these? If you're selling like lesser known CDs, you can still Amazon Prime them. And a lot of times, if I find like some 90s rap, um, I will, uh, I'll prime those, but I bought like 8,000 CDs and DVDs over the summer with the intention of priming them. And like none of it, none of it worked out. It was, it was, I made, I made some good money on it. I paid like a thousand bucks and I bet I had made five grand off that, but it's been way, way more work than the other stuff I sell. Like it's not, I, I don't think I would sell it again. And what I'm going to do is just with the remaining couple thousand, I'm going to pay someone to go through and um, bulk them by genre uh, of movie and CD and just sell them off in lots on eBay because it really takes up a lot of space and is a huge headache. It's almost 1 o'clock. If there are no more questions, uh, I'm going to end this live stream. Uh, we're going to say you've got, um, I don't know, 10 seconds left for questions. 10 seconds going going once. It's not how these things work. Um, yeah, he says, all the CDs I found are restricted. Yeah, it sucks, dude. I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't have to tell you. eBay, I guess, is your best bet. Um, the good thing about that, too, is that the fees are a lot lower for media on eBay. How do you market your subscription service? RS Guide. My... I have... So, I don't know what you're referring to. Um, I have several businesses that are candy and jerky subscription businesses. Um... I have my I own Bo Candy and Bo Jerky, and I just did a lot of I I the SEO is strong on those, and I do a lot of affiliate marketing. If you're referring to the subscription service where I say what price I'm going to be buying thrift store items at, um, I haven't even marketed that. I, I haven't even written it yet, um, or even made a business plan. Uh, if you're referring to this idea I had in two videos ago or last video to sell. A monthly subscription to my um, a spreadsheet of what brands I'm buying and what price I'm buying at. I have no clue how I'll market it. Um, probably just through YouTube. I think I might set it up through Patreon. Um, all the information is going to be for free in the videos, but the, I think the way I'm going to figure it is if you want to pay for a spreadsheet of everything I say in the videos. That'll be the value added. I don't. I think it'd be kind of scammy for me to be like, "Hey, here's all this great stuff I bought. Want to the price I bought it at? Pay me money." That doesn't make sense to me. Um, I really strongly believe in giving out info for free and then having the value be uh, the money you make, the value that you add. Um, you know, as opposed to like, I, I guess showing these videos is adding value, but you know, it isn't. It isn't to a point where I would feel comfortable charging money for it. Uh, and I believe that wraps up the questions, guys. I uh, and girls and, and however you 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 if you're you know maybe there's a few animals in here too. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, okay. One last question: Is affiliates? Uh, I yeah. I, I used a lot of YouTubers and a lot of bloggers uh, as affiliates. I didn't do much Instagram because um, the, there was no way to click through at the time I was doing it and it just wasn't worth the money. Um, I was probably sending out, I, I haven't marketed that, that business in a year and a half now. It just runs itself. I did a very good job setting up the, um, the SEO for it so it, it gets you know, 20,000 organic views a month uh, on the sites. Anyways though, video's over guys. Thanks a lot. And um, I really appreciate you coming here. I'm gonna be here tomorrow, same thing, same video. Uh, it'll be shorter. I don't think I'm thrifting today. But I will have a, a short video about um, online arbitrage coming up soon. I will see you later. Uh, thanks a lot.